You asked the question, so we went looking for answers for you about a utility pole mystery on the near north side of Indianapolis. Viewers reported multiple new antennas in the Butler Tarkington neighborhood, but couldn't figure out what the antennas are for. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Brilliant did some investigating, and here now is what he discovered. We were told about these antennas in Butler Tarkington. We've counted at least 10 just like this one. So what are they for? Well, that's what we wondered. So we went on a quest to find out. Towering high in the sky above traditional utility poles stand these. But what are they? I don't have a clue. I'll be honest with you. On the top, there's a bucket-like enclosure. Uh, probably some kind of alarm, you know, weather alarm, emergency. At the base, an electric meter, wires, and other electronics. So what could it be? And plenty of warnings to stay away from the transmitting signal. I really have no clue. <laughs> no idea what it is? No. No, none at all. We checked with Homeland Security and the Department of Public Safety. Neither claimed ownership. The only thing I do wonder is whether there's something to do with Butler. Because I know they have the ones down on campus with blue lights on top. And the nearby university doesn't own them either. So I'm trying to figure out what uh, these antennas are. So finally, we called the company affiliated with the hardware. For cellular sites. Okay. Cellular companies have a, uh, a booster. Oh, okay. So it boosts cell phone signals? Correct. Not the police or other government agency, just a way to make that 4G cell phone more powerful. You're not worried about Big Brother? <sighs> Big Brother's watching no matter what you want. You got a, if you got a phone, they can listen. If you got a camera on your phone, they can watch. And if his theory is correct, these will help make that much easier. So there's nothing spectacular, nothing top secret about these, but if you've wondered what they're for, at least now you know. Jeremy Brilliant, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And late this evening, we found out the antennas were installed with the permission of the Department of Metropolitan Development, but they were supposed to be installed on existing utility poles and not on new ones. City officials now currently investigating whether or not contractors are in violation of Indianapolis city code.